Hey guys, it's Sarah from Just My Typewriter, and I'm once again here with a little oddball in my collection. This is a 1956 Tower Chieftain typewriter. I actually picked it up recently on a thrift trip. I was coming back from seeing my sister. I had to stop at an antique store because I can't not stop at an antique store when I see one. And I had seen a bunch of typewriters that day, but they were all models I was pretty familiar with. And then I spied this little tower typewriter. Now I had never had a tower typewriter before. I'd never really seen one in person, except for one that I saw in Chicago at the Type-In. And I was really excited just to be in the presence of such an interesting typewriter. I did decide to purchase it and I bought it for about $28. When I brought it home, I posted it on my Instagram, just.my.typewriter, and was informed by you, the loving typewriter public, that this is actually a rebranded Olivetti Lettera 22 typewriter. And that got me thinking, what was the tower brand of typewriters and why were they stealing designs from other companies? So a little bit of history here. The tower brand is actually the Sears and Roebuck in-house typewriter brand. Sears and Roebuck, or Sears, was actually established in 1892 as a catalog mail-in business where you would get their catalog, see the items you would want, write in for them, and they would mail that to you. In about 1925, they opened their first retail location in Chicago, Illinois. A lot of cool things happened in Chicago, apparently. Up until the 1940s, they were selling the normal branded typewriters of the big names like Smith Corona, Underwood, Olivetti, all the classics. In the late 1940s and early 1950s, they actually announced a new brand of typewriter in their catalog called Tower. Now the Tower typewriter was originally designed to be kind of like the budget-friendly line of typewriters using some of the popular typewriter models you might have been familiar with at the time. They started in 1952 with their first standard typewriter, and that would be a Tower standard typewriter that was manufactured by the typewriter company R.C. Allen. And what R.C. Allen did was they manufactured this typewriter for Sears and they just used one of their original body designs and then slapped the Tower branding on the typewriter. And from there, Tower actually released a series of typewriters that were manufactured by other companies, branded as Tower typewriters, and sold at the Sears locations. So you would see things like a Smith Corona Skywriter, but it would be labeled as a Tower typewriter. You would see an Olivetti typewriter, but it would be branded as a Tower typewriter. Now there's a couple of reasons that department stores did this, and there are other examples out there in the wild. I actually recently ran across a Montgomery Ward typewriter, and that is a rebranded brother typewriter for the Montgomery Ward department store. So there are a lot of examples of these out there, I just didn't know it at the time that Tower was actually the Sears brand of typewriter. Now there were a few reasons that department stores would do this. Some of those would be that they could actually make them for cheaper than the name brand typewriter companies. Because they were not as established of a brand, they could also get models of that same typewriter that maybe had less functions on them. They would put the tower branding on them and sell them at a cheaper rate for their customers so you could get a typewriter for less of an investment. They also were hoping that by putting out their name brand line, it would encourage people to have brand loyalty to their department store so that you would go to Sears specifically to buy your tower typewriter. So they had a lot of different designs that they actually licensed from the big name typewriter companies and were manufactured by those big name companies with the tower branding on them and sold in their stores. One example of this would be the Tower Chieftain. So the Tower Chieftain was actually announced in the magazine or the catalog in about 1956 and it was in the Olive Olivetti Lettera 22 body style. It was manufactured by Olivetti and sold as a tower typewriter. They sold these from about 1956 to 1958 and then the Tower Chieftain disappeared for a while until about 1962 when they re-released the Chieftain but in a different body style. This time they actually had their Tower Chieftain manufactured by Smith Corona and it looks a lot like a Smith Corona Skyrider. And they sold these in the 1960s and they had a few different versions that kind of match up with the different styles of the Skyrider typewriters from Smith Corona. Now, as I was trying to get a date on this machine, which I think is 1956, I ran into some conflicting resources on the actual age of the Tower Chieftain model. So the typewriter database, which is my most trusted source for typewriter information and serial numbers, and I've included a link to that in the description below, states that the Tower Courier model was the original Olivetti letter of body design, and that was released in early 1956, and by Christmas of 1956, they had rebranded that Courier model model as the Tower Chieftain, and they sold that from 1956 to 1958, and then switched out the design to the Skywriter in about the 1960s. Another blog, though, that 
aggregates a ton of information about typewriters, Machines of Love and Grace, and I've included a link to their resources as well, states that this body design was actually earlier in the 1950s. Because it doesn't have the red tab key on the keyboard like the later versions of the Olivetti Lettera model, they claim that the Tower Chieftain was from the early 1950s and that the Courier model of the Tower typewriter actually came out later. So I'm not really sure what to go with here. I did find a blog post from Ted Monk of the typewriter database that goes through each of the catalog listings of the Tower Chieftain, and I do think that he's probably more accurate in identifying that this model is from 1956 to 1958, but I leave that up to you to do your own research. I had a lot of trouble finding information about Tower branded typewriters because they were a rebranded version of typewriters you might already be familiar with. I did name this typewriter. I named him Ro from Sears and Roebuck, so I named him Ro. I thought it was really cute. And I did do a quick little type test for you. I do think that rebranded typewriters from other companies is a really interesting way to look at typewriter history. It shows you what kind of models people thought were important to have at a lower cost, what models might have been more cheaper to reproduce and rebrand, and which ones kind of had a lot more of a hold on culture. Skywriters are super popular, so it makes sense that they would rebrand those and make them a little bit more affordable for the normal everyday consumer. Same with the Letter of 22. Now I have a large Olivetti standard desk, Olivetti Linea 98 named Orso, massive typewriter, but I never really had any other experience with Olivetti typewriters, especially portables. So it was really cool to be able to sit down and get to try out the Olivetti body style and feel without actually having to have an Olivetti portable. This was my budget friendly version. So if you have a rebranded typewriter from a department store, Kmart made their own, Montgomery Ward, Sears, a couple others, JCPenney's actually had their own typewriters. Let me know down in the comments below what kind of typewriter you have that's a rebrand and maybe we can find out what kind of body design that was actually based off of and rebranded as that department store's typewriter. If you're interested in more typewriter content, I have some more videos on this YouTube channel and I also have an Instagram at just.my.typewriter. I want to thank you all so much for watching and remind you that you're just my type writer.